First and foremost, I just want to give a shout out to SL for XL Salon. You know what I'm saying, and I appreciate everything y'all doing for the culture and so forth. This is your boy KG Salon. I'm your number one rapper. I'm your number one trapper. You know, I just get it how I get it. You know what I'm saying? Glad to be here. What's good? Call me, call me, call me, friend of me, original. I got the melody, the lyrics that I make them every irate. Trap, 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 trap. Yeah, I said, trap, I said, follow me, follow me. It's the Panani Dani. I got the agony, 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 agony. Trap. Ready or not, refugees taking over The Sierra Leone soldiers, the global makeover Disrespect, we knock your head off your shoulders Man, uh, I say, I do rap I do like Afro rap I do like Afro beats I do R&B when I feel like it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I try not to be in a box Like, I just don't say I do this type of genre of music And I stop there I like to experiment with different types of sounds So, yeah, that's But everything I do actually is just pertaining to Salon To Sierra Leone, where I'm from So, if you hear me on a record I'm screaming something about Sierra Leone So, so I do Salon music Let's, let's say that What's special about my style is that I took a combination of different places that I've been, um, different experiences that I've had, and just growing up, you know, in, uh, in New York and New Jersey and in Salon itself. And I, I kind of I mix that all up together, so it's like a you could call it a gumbo. You know, you know what a gumbo is when you take a bunch of stuff, put it together. So that's that's what my, my style is. It's a gumbo, of different things. Uh, you know, some days I might feel like making a strip club song or whatever. So I just do different things, man. Whatever I feel like doing that day. Obviously and maybe professionally, I say maybe last two and a half years. But um, I've been doing music most of my life. I took a lot of time off because I, really, I wasn't really serious about making music professionally. I was more into just doing it just for a hobby. You know what I'm saying? But over the last two years, uh, I had like some life altering situation. My mother passed away. Um, but just a whole lot of things happened. And I was motivated to, to try to um, immortalize her memories. You know what I'm saying? So the first song that I really did professionally was dedicated to my mother. And from that point, I just started moving up because the people was feeling what I was doing. It's Bash on the beat. One time for me, man, a bandit. Two times for me, man, a bandit. Me falling brothers in the jungle. Y'all niggas too tall amongst all the money One time for me money money Two times for me money money If all the brothers in the jungle Y'all niggas too tall amongst all the money Inside me heart I still they pray For the ones that I've lost, yeah Lost in the jungle, yeah I still feel the pain Cause you're down in the grave But what's in the One time for me, Monday, Monday. Two times for me, Monday, Monday. The fallen brothers in the jungle. Y'all niggas too tall amongst all the Monday. One time for me, Monday, Monday. Rest in peace to all my fallen me, soldiers. Monday, Monday. into music as far as listening to it. I, I can't per se say there's a person that, that's been uh, making music professionally. You know what I'm saying? Bef uh, well, my uncle is Steady Bongo, so maybe, yeah, I could say Steady Bongo, you know, we all know who that is, you know, legend. So that's the one family member. It's not like I really know him well, but I know he's part of my family. But my immediate family, I don't know anyone that ever done music beside myself, beside, and my, my children, my kids do music. Man, I, I really don't, I don't remember how we really connected. I think it's because one of the reactors, and shout out to my man, Jigsy, you know, Jigs Illustration, you can check him out on YouTube and all that. Great dude, stay out in Canada. But Jigsy know, he knows uh, Lyrical Joe. And then we were just talking one day and I, I heard Joe 
And I just thought he was dope. You know what I'm saying? I, I mentioned it to Jixi. Jixi like, you want to connect with him? And I think that's what happened. So Jixi connected us. Like I said, shout out to my man, man. And shout out to all the reactors, man. Sean T, uh, uh, Extra Philip, uh, my, my man um, Steve Booser, all of them. You know what I'm saying? They've been really looking out for the artists lately. And they're helping with a lot of discoveries of the new artists. You know what I'm saying? But that's what happened. I heard Joe. And I thought he was dope. Had the conversation with my man Jixi, and Jixi um, connected us, and we just, you know, we just been like good friends from that from that point on, you know. And I, I just felt like we made this song. I want to come to Ghana, meet him face to face, and shoot the the video here together. The title of the song is called Pull Up, and, and basically it's talking to the world, like you know, what I'm saying if you, you know, if you want beef, then pull up. If you really want it, then pull up. Pull up to Africa. We got the artists, we got the talent. Pull up to us. You know what I'm saying? Like we want that smoke, like pull up to Africa. You know, give us a chance to, to show, you know, show our ass and, and show you that we got talent too. You know? I, I was into the old Cerulean um sound. You know what I'm saying? And I was on YouTube looking for a beat that I, I could really use for that sound. And there was this uh this guy, he's from from Uganda. I can't think of his name right now. Please forgive me if you're watching this, bro. But I, I heard the beat. I loved it. I held on to it for a couple of months. I contacted him, you know, because I was going to pay him for the beat. Um, but he was like, you can have the beat for free. You know, and I got that written down. But he gave me the beat for free. Um, so I just went ahead. I, I just kind of freestyle to that beat. And I kept the freestyle. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what you got on Deeper. I just wanted to just express myself and just do something different. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just, it depends on the feeling I'm in. I'll make a music for whatever it is. I said okra soup, okra soup, because there's something about it, man. It just tastes so good, especially when you put that dry fish in there. Man, nobody's messing with that okra soup. At least that's how I feel. I mean, like the salad and all that is cool and all that, but, um, you know, jola, you know, potato leaves is cool, uh, but me and the okra, that's cool. That's what I rock with. Man, first off, I gotta tell all the people in Africa, period, not just Sierra Leone, but in Africa, period, stop worrying about somebody to help you. Just start doing something. That's, that's all I did. I'm, I'm not special than anybody else. All I told myself was this is what I want to do, and I started doing it, regardless if they gave me help or not. Regardless if my music popped today or I become a superstar or not, you know what I'm saying? I started this myself, and I'm going to see my way through it. Every time I speak to one of the, the youth, they always talk about, hey, KG, I need a manager. Well, you don't need a manager. I don't have a manager. You get a manager when you're making numbers, you know, when you start elevating. That's when a manager will come looking for you. You know what I'm saying? And I understand what they mean by manager. They, they're looking for a financier, somebody to finance the stuff for them. And I get that. And I, I took some, you know, I took some some uh, artists under my wing and I financed stuff for them. I do that. But at the same time, we got to stop that. If you want to really make it happen, that's how you know that you really want to make it happen by any means necessary. Whether you got to go and sell cans, you know, bottles or whatever it is, but just start the project. It's easier these days. First of all, perfect your craft. Second of all, work on your music. Like one of the other things that really hurt us in, in Africa is the sound, you know, the quality of the sound. Cause they don't take us serious to the quality of the sound gets better. You know what I'm saying? Like work on your craft, you know, like I hear, I got, like I said, Lyrical Joe, when I heard him spit, I was like, that dude is fire. You know what I'm saying? And I had to give him his respect, no matter what country he's from. I know he's from Africa. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. So work on your craft. Stop asking everybody for stuff. Stop, like, 
that irks me. Like, stop putting your hand out all the time, asking for stuff. You'll get it. All you got to do is start doing it. People start reaching out to you for it. You know what I'm saying? But they got to get out that mentality that somebody going to help. Nobody's going to help you. This, the world is not about that. The world is not trying to help. Everybody's not me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only one that's trying to help people. Everybody is not out here trying to help you achieve. Cause it's, it's a doggy dog world. That's all it is, man. So you got to want it yourself and go after it. And everything will fall in place after that. You can catch me on KG Salon, KG, S-A-L-O-N-E, official. Um, that's on Facebook. That's on Instagram. Um, anywhere. Just hit KG Salon, man. I'll come up. Make sure you put the E at the end. S-A-L-O-N-E. And I'll pop up, man. Anywhere. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Spotify. I'm on any platform you can think of. YouTube. So, yeah. Go go listen to my music. Let me know. Let, if it's trash, let me know. If it's hot, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would like that. You know what I'm saying? You only get better by criticism. I, I got nothing wrong with people criticizing me for nothing. Because, I, I mean, like I said, I do it for my people. And I do it for myself. So I'm not mad at anybody for saying anything. Girl, it's my pleasure, man. Thank you for having me again. SL for Excel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, man. DJ Patron, my guy. I love you, bro. Um, I thank everybody. Um, Sierra Leone, thank you for, for always having my back. Ghana, thank you for letting me in your country. You know what I'm saying? Africa, we up. It's our time. We about to shine and take over, all right? One.